seems like um it seems like the drama just never stops when it comes down to Hoyoverse. They come out with a bad game, and then now they hire a bad voice actor. I don't know that much about it. I got told by one of my friends that about this voice actor, so I was like, okay, let me hop on Twitter, right? And I search up Mose, which is the character's name, and then immediately VA comes up, voice actor comes up. So I'm like, oh, we're about to get into this. And to be honest, this is just to spread awareness because I do want this voice actor to be removed considering um, considering everything. And I've seen that there's a lot of proof too. And bro literally admitted to all this. So let me say, okay? First of all, I think it's, I think it's dumb to even bring in the character. I remember all this with the Tenari voice actor. Don't let anybody forget this, but everybody was bringing in the character and acting as if the character did what the voice actor did, and I just need y'all to use your goddamn brains. I know half of y'all are like toddlers, y'all haven't grown up yet, but please, let's focus on the voice actor and not on the character, you know what I mean? All that we should be focusing on in relation to the character is getting this voice actor removed from voicing the character. That's it. So here is a sort of like very put together part portion of what happened and everything. And I'll read this out for you. Trigger warning essay. Moses NVA Chris Neosi has admitted to abuse of colleagues and tried to take advantage of an ex while she was drunk. Don't shut up about this. Make it reach Hoyoverse and hopefully they'll replace the scumbag. It is time that I apologize to all the people that I've hurt. You can read through this. It's basically just him admitting to everything. Well, not admitting to everything in the ways that it matters, but basically saying that he did abuse people, right? Um, on the Wikipedia, which Hoyoverse could have looked at, but they decided not to, there is literally mostly everything explaining things that are at least proved. You know, like, proved stuff like he admitted to, right? And then here is a, you know, straight up, thing explaining everything that he's done and again like it's very hard to find you know credibility as to if he actually did all these things other than the fact that he admitted to hurting people and what is true is that he has not apologized properly and he most definitely hasn't taken accountability for everything that he's actually done he kind of like skirted over the topic a bunch right saying that it's gossip of what he did to other people. The manipulation that he did was gossip, which is crazy, but you can read through this. Um, you can make your opinion on what you think. I already have my opinion. I think this dude is a scumbag. When it when you search up Chris Neosi's name, you scroll down, you go to the little questions bar on the Google page. It's like, what happened to Chris Neosi? Literally, this comes up. And that's all I gotta say. I think this dude is a scumbag. And I don't think anybody should support him. I don't think that Hoyover should, should put him on the game. I don't think he should be supported in that way at all. It's just annoying how people like this can get into these positions. The only people that still support him, I'm pretty sure, are the people that are unaware of what he did. But I see a lot of people who are rightfully and doing a really good job telling everybody what happened. And for the most part, everybody's been pretty respectful to anybody who's, um who's not known and was in initially supporting him in getting the, the role as a voice actor, but is now changing. Because like, when people are unaware of stuff, a lot of people in this community tend to attack people who have no idea of what you're talking about, right? And I think a good example would have been like the, the Tanari, Tanari situation. A lot of people even ask questions, why is Tanari being attacked or the Tanari voice actor being attacked? And people would just harass them and send them hate when they genuinely didn't know what was going on. But I see a lot of people who are giving them the proof, showing people the images and giving, you know, pretty much a respectful response to anybody who was unaware. And I think that is, this is pretty good. To anybody who is posting on Twitter, I'd say give that same energy to Hoyoverse's email. Uh, definitely send them emails, send them proof in the emails, all of that type of shit. Make sure to like cook up a storm but really everybody who's like calling him out on twitter is doing an amazing job i'm not saying that you know i'm not saying that you're doing something wrong you're not but uh i don't know May try try everything i would try everything if i were you